Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents. Look one time for the one time, tongue in the butt, all wild, all crazy. This is your host, Izzy Baby. And before we even get into anything, man, this video has been brought to you by AT&T, your world delivered, man. Listen, if you have a Galaxy S model of any year, bring that shit to your boy. I will get you a deal on a brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 or S22 Ultra. It's up to you. Just let me know. Just let your boy know. Get in that comment section and I got you. Now, look, man. Everybody and their mama know Lil, Lil TJ been shot. And I wasn't going to cover the story right away because I was looking, waiting to see what happened. You know, Pac was in the hospital for five days. Rest in peace before he, you know what I'm saying, expired on us. And... I wanted to see if it was one of those situations or was it what was it? Now, for those who don't know, Lil TJ was in New Jersey a couple weeks ago and some nigga ran, walked up on his car, asked him for the jewelry, asked him for the money, said where it sat. Lil TJ said, what, nigga? Where it sat? It's on me. Where it's going to stay? Fuck you mean? Nigga pulled out a burner. Lil TJ's men's pulled out a burner and they started to burn it. Everybody started to turn in the motherfucking burners. Now, look. Lil TJ's man currently serving time for defending his mans. If y'all don't know, Lil TJ's mans pulled out the burner and started blasting back. Like, what the fuck? Boom, boom, boom. Like, nah, you're not about to get off on my mans. Now, Lil TJ was shot. His mans was shot. His mans is doing a little bit of time for that uh, unlawful possession. Um, I'll say this about that real quick. My best homie live out Cali. That's my, that's my brother. That's my motherfucking, you know what I mean? My, my rib. And if anybody put their hands on my mans, my brother, try to rob him, try to get tough with him, any of that extra gangster shit on everything, on neighborhood crip, bro, I'm, man, come on, man, it's me. It's me, man. I would never, I feel for Lil TJ's mans, like, you had to do that. That's what that's some shit you had to do. Somebody was about to run down on your mans, take his life from him, take him away from his kids, his mom, from y'all, from the gang. Man, come on now. If he didn't let that shit spin, I'd be disappointed if they let that gun stay on him. That shit had to come up off his hip no matter what. And little TJ, when you get out, you do something right by them boys and you get them out of that situation. You feel me? Because you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. With that being said, multiple, multiple, multiple reports are saying that little TJ waking up. He ain't necessarily walking, but he moving. His eyes are open and he's talking. Now, that is way better news than the shit we was hearing a week ago. Like, oh, he may never walk again. He's still unresponsible. He, unresponsive. He's in a vegetative state. All that different shit. So hearing that he is opening his eyes and he is um, trying to have a conversation is good. Now, the police do want to talk to little TJ and, you know, get to the bottom of what happened. Uh, my best advice, right, is tell it like tell it like we know it. Tell the story that they already know. You feel me? At the end of the day, they can't help no more than they've already done anyway. Fuck, they got to get more reports for. You feel me? They, they just trying to do more shit. They just trying, you know what I'm saying? Fuck all that extra shit, TJ. Fuck all that. Listen to your Uncle Izzy, man. I would tell the police, motherfucker tried to rob me. He pulled out a gun. My man, who just so happened to have his burner on him, saved my life. And that's what happened, sir. That's just that's what happened. I don't know nothing else. I don't I don't want to know nothing else. I'm just happy to be alive, sir. And that's how you keep it. That's how don't tell them shit they don't already know. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, like I said about my man's out Cali, there's there's shit that still needs to be handled. This nigga did not die. The nigga that tried to rob little TJ is still alive. He's he's fucked up, but he's still alive. Fuck out of here. I'm not going to be able to sleep until you until he sleep. Put it to you like that, man. When I know more, you know more, man. And thanks for listening, Joe. I'm out.